welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be renovating an apartment in San Myshuno. So we're here in this building just in the Spice District. So we're in this apartment building doing this little apartment here, 2B Jasmine Suites. The reason I decided to do this today is in my Let's Play, um, we were living across the hall and I noticed that there was a lot of Sims living here. The game has a tendency to just keep generating Sims and filling households, unless you stop it. So basically we've ended up with way too many Sims. I already moved one Sim out because it was ridiculous, but we have Grandma Eleanor, who has uh, Sophie as a daughter and also Kirk, who has already moved out. And then Eleanor also has, I believe, Darius. And then Peyton is actually Sophie's child. And then there's also two dogs, so. <laughs> and this is the apartment they live in, um, which I guess technically has enough beds, four beds, four Sims, though, you know, having said that, one is a toddler and a child. So the toddler doesn't actually have a bed. There's no toddler stuff in this apartment. There's no pet stuff in this apartment. Um, and ideally it would be nice if we could separate it out a bit more. Now, obviously we're very restricted for space. So we just have this area here to work with. I mean, I think we probably just need to gut this place because I mean, even this bathroom is a bit bizarre. I don't know why it's so long. We did also come in here once upon a time and we did a walk-in wardrobe uh, in Dream Home Decorator Let's Play a long time ago, but we'll probably just get rid of that. So I guess ideally what I would like to do is maybe have three bedrooms because I'm thinking maybe Sophie and her daughter can sort of share a room. Although actually no, hang on. Sophie's daughter is a child, not the toddler. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's see what we can do. I'm going to gut this place first. Let's, let's gut it. We'll get all the, we're going to try and use the money they have. We may cheat money if we end up not having enough, but hopefully we can do it on a budget. Okay, we've got 31,000 simoleons. This is the space we have to work with. I think we can do it. I'm wondering if we just right off the bat cut in a room here. So there's a room with a window that can be a bedroom. Can we do like a small bathroom there? So that can just be like a toilet and a sink. And then you have like a little entrance foyer. Annoyingly, the door kind of opens the wrong way. Ideally, I probably want it to open the other way, but I'm going to go with that. And then can I do a larger bathroom right next to that? Probably a waste of money. Why don't I just do one large bathroom and that make more sense? Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. You know what? Forget the second bathroom. I don't know what that's going to be now. You know what? Let's just shift it over. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we've got a two by four. I think before it was like a two by five, which is a little too big. So it's one tile smaller. Ooh, I have a lot of stuff in the inventory. Oh, look at all this stuff we got. Sweet, let's sell it all. Oh, cool, they must be in the doctor career. Very nice, level five of the doctor. Level six, dang, level, wait, who is like a level seven doctor? Dang, sell it. Actually, you know what? We'll keep this. We'll keep, we'll at least keep the uh, medicine deployment. We'll put that somewhere. I suppose I can just put that in the inventory again. <laughs> This is a current layout, not great, because I was gonna do this as just like an extension of this room. So like, it was kind of like a nursery for the toddler, but I feel like it should be a separate room. We could get four bedrooms like this. Very strange though. Or we do three really simple bedrooms like this with one hallway, one bathroom at the end, which is obviously a much better layout. It just means we don't have like a main bedroom because they're all the same size. I suppose, you know what? Let's just make this one bigger. We can make this like the main bedroom a little bigger. So it just means the toddler is gonna be in one of the rooms, but I think if we're doing four bedroom, we end up with a weird layout like I had just before. I do have this weird thing because I criticize the two by five bathroom. And if I remove this, we end up with the two by five bathroom again. <laughs> and so it's not any better than what I did. I guess we could even do, maybe we, I was gonna say we could do like a nursery in here, but like that's kind of awkward, a little two by two. You know what, let's just go with this. Let's go with this. It's pretty simple layout. I think it's gonna make our life easier. All right, I got some simple lighting. I'm gonna get this maybe in the hallways. I like that blue, a nice little archway. Very nice, look at that. Okay, just some basic colors along the place. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. Let's get some cheap doors, save some cash here. Do one door pretty much in the middle of each room, one door at the end, that's pretty good. I mean, I actually think that is kind of good. Now who's the doctor? Dang, Eleanor, doctor's in the house. So Eleanor, who will have the main bedroom because they are, I guess, the elder. I assume this was their apartment, or still is, I shouldn't say was. <laughs> Should we go anime bed? Okay, no, this bed is not working. Is it too pink in here? It is very pink. <laughs> Get like the pink side tables, pink bed, pink walls. But you know what? Maybe it's kind of a vibe. Kind of like it. Maybe we need some of the building bricks in here. Just like a little bit, just to break it up. Maybe just on this wall here. 
I don't know what it is, but we're gonna have a couple of bricks there. I like it. Gr would grandma have a TV in her room? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Let's not do that. I think like a little beauty station maybe would be good. I'm gonna use, I think if I use this mirror, if I put it like all the way up here, does that still disappear with the walls? Oh, dang it. Oh wait, it does, yes. Because the problem with mirrors, I would love to have like a mirror here, but if I use like, let's say this mirror and you put the walls down, it always stays visible. Which is good because in live mode, you can click on it and click like, you know, change sim, all the interactions. But when it's in the middle of a house, it's kind of annoying because it's just a thing floating there. So I like, I'm gonna use this mirror because it means it's still there, but when the walls are down, it's not. Kind of handy. So it's a huge mirror. <laughs> oh yes, we definitely need dentures. <laughs> all right, we've got a little get ready corner there. <laughs> Got a couple of cross stitch things, some knitted things. I don't know. <laughs> they like knitting now. Oh, I wonder if we can get a, uh, I mean, grandma is a doctor. Can we have like a little home workstation just in here? Should be better if I can get it over the other side of the room. Just cause it's quite tall and then it'll be like out of the way, sort of more tucked in the corner. Should probably use the doctor chair. I think they can get into that. We'll, we'll have to test it, but should be all right. Got a cheap computer. <laughs> you know, a little home workstation in there. That's good. All right, let's do maybe Sophie. Oh, where's the toddler gonna go? <laughs> Cause I was gonna say, I was gonna put the toddler with the mom, but the mom is Eleanor, which is this room. Hmm, <laughs> I'm sorry. The kid is just gonna have to share. Ooh, some of these beds are really cool actually. Ooh, that one's cool, I like that. All right, toddler's bed. Yeah, this is this is the kid's room, they're sharing. Just the way it has to be. They're gonna scale down the dollhouse, get like a really small one, cause these still work. They're gonna have like a little toy corner over here. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere with the room, a little play area, a little rug. I've got the dresser over here as like a bedside table, which I think works. Ooh, toy tub, just for a bit of funsies, a little bit of decoration. Uh, I don't know if this works, if this is overlapped, so we'll find out. I'm gonna put it there and hope it works. All right, the walls are super blank, so we gotta, we gotta put stuff on the walls. <laughs> I was gonna put a mobile on the roof, but look how high up it is. <laughs> that's kind of pointless. Oh, that's kind of cute if we do one of these either side. That's nice. That little lamp there as well is cute. Oh, and we should get the um, wall lights that stop monsters. Might scale it down a bit. I'm gonna put it over by the door. I assume that works. Oh, these are kind of cool. It's from the bathroom kit for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why this is in the bathroom kit. It's like blocks decals or something. I don't know. Okay. I mean, it's a little bit of fun. It's kind of a bit random though, isn't it? I feel <laughs> we get to put some other stuff in here, but I, I mean, I don't really know what. Because we don't have a lot of room. It's the main problem. There's a lot of stuff, but you know, when it, when it comes to toddler stuff, I mean, look how big these things are. <laughs> Not a lot of space for that kind of stuff, so I think that's fine. Okay, and then Eleanor's daughter, who is also the mom of the child, will be in this room, uh, Sophie. So I think I'll do, I think I'll just do the bed in front of the window, maybe. Just off to the side like that. I kind of like the dark wood vibe in here. It's a little, little fun. Oh, we can do this off to the side as well, a little footpath. Oh, can we do a dresser, but do it this way? And can I put a TV on it facing the other way? Oh, really? You can't rotate it the other way? <laughs> really? Come on. I mean, what I'm going to do... Let's just do it like this. Here we go. I just kind of want a TV here. Should we do a, I think a mirror on this wall could work. I might just put it above that side table and actually might just move it over a little bit. Because then you have like a little mirror there. It's on the outer wall so that you can always see it. When you have cutaway walls, this is kind of what you see. And I think that's a good view. Like there's not really anything blocking anything except for the doors, but obviously those will disappear in live mode. Might see if I can get a desk in here as well. I think it might be useful to have like office spaces for each of the Sims. I don't know if that's gonna work though. N a non-doctor's chair here. Pretty much the same as you may notice, but this chair has extra cool accents. So this is the non-doctor's version. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do a little bit of play testing here, but that's okay. I feel like this is a coy kind of room, you know? Actually, is there any skills or anything I could do here? Sophie, what do you got? Fitness, logic, mischief, video gaming, wellness, writing, gardening. Oof. <laughs> I just wanted like a little skill thing to put in the corner here. We could, oh, I can't really fit anything. I mean, we can, bonsai, does that count as gardening? It is gardening. You know what, let's have a bonsai. You know, it kind of fits the vibe of having a koi and like a peacock and I don't know, it's a bit of a zen room for some reason. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do the bathroom because we're definitely gonna need a tub for the toddler and we're gonna need a potty. I mean, we could honestly just do the shower tub combo. It's probably a good idea. And then I think I wanna do the toilet maybe down this end too. We have like the potty maybe just opposite it, to be honest. I, I don't know. 
don't work because you can still get in there. And then can we fit counters here? Oh, not those. We can. They do fit underneath the, the window. So that's good. Could even do something like this. So we could have like more counter space. I don't know if that is really necessary. But I'll use these mirrors that don't go down with the wall. So then even when the walls are down, you can still see it. Because that's not really blocking anything. It's like the, at the end of the apartment. So I think that's okay. And we'll just do the sink here. Okay, just a little simple bathroom. You know, sink, towels, all that kind of stuff. I think that should be good. Uh, let's get everything we need. Uh, we do, wait, we don't have a cat, do we? Just two dogs. Okay, two dogs. So we don't need any uh, litter boxes or anything like that. We have a big hallway, which I guess arguably is kind of a waste of space, but we could do stuff in here quite easily. But let's first, let's move on to the living space because I think we need to spend some money here. Definitely need some sort of kitchen, which I think is probably just going to be straight along here for sure. I'll put the fridge at the end just because it's a tall item. And again, it'll sort of just be more out of the way. Kind of running low on the budget. I have spent a lot of money, so might have to start cutting corners. Oh, I really don't want to, so <laughs> I'm kind of still buying expensive stuff. It just looks so much better. <laughs> Do I like that where we sort of go like have the white cabinets here and then like the black on the bricks? I mean, it's kind of cool. This stove kind of looks weird though. Doesn't really fit in because <laughs> the color's not exactly right. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to change that to the tiles. I'm going to do a four seater table because there's four Sims, though one of them is a toddler. So I'm going to add on a high chair separately. And it was a risk, but I'm hoping maybe with growing together, they've fixed high chairs because they're super buggy. Um. Okay, I gotta figure out a better way to do this because this is kind of, thought that could be a dining nook and then we could have like a sitting area here. It's just kind of weird though. Maybe this would be better here. Then we could have a couch here facing the TV there. That actually might work better. That high chair's gotta go. I don't know what, look, I don't know why I chose that color. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. What about just that sort of more wooden one? All right, so this is a small apartment. So I'm not super concerned with like leaving a bunch of space to walk around in because, you know, space is at a premium here, especially with this many Sims. So I'm not too, not too concerned and about things fitting perfectly. I got a taller bookcase sort of on this outer wall as well. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on. We've got we got to definitely get a clash of styles going on here with this table in the kitchen and <laughs> that's way more contemporary than the, the dining area. I think I might just get rid of one of the dining chairs instead of, so we have like three normal chairs and one high chair because otherwise we do just end up with a, you know, just kind of sticks out. So not ideal. That does leave more room for the couch, which is good. It also leaves more room for the pet stuff because we do still need stuff for the dogs. Oh, you do know, you know what we do? Let's maybe finish the kitchen. We, we need like all the kitchen stuff too. So <laughs> let's do that because I've got $5,000 left. Let's get, let's get that sorted. A little range hood for the, uh, the stove. Dishwasher. Probably still want a sink. Oh, you know what would be cool? I kind of like the idea of mirrors behind it. And I'm going to use the vintage glamour ones because like I said before well first of all it makes the place look way bigger look at that beautiful but also when the walls go down they don't get in the way which is perfect so we have a nice mirrored splashback this bookcase is a bit weird <laughs> you get blue blended in the wall I actually you know what I actually don't hate that with it that sort of blue color I don't know it's kind of fun and then this armchair actually maybe that can go the blue as well slightly different blues though it's kind of annoying but Oh, actually, maybe this one should be like the white with the still got the blues in it. Okay, pet stuff. Oh, bin. <laughs> That's the other thing. In a bin, very important. Well, can we just do a trash chute? That makes sense. I mean, they got, actually, they got that out in the hallway. Why would we have a, we wouldn't have a trash chute inside the apartment. That's kind of weird. Uh, we can just do a bin here. I kind of wish that they had like closed lidded bins in this game. Cause like, who has like an open bin in their kitchen like this? <laughs> Not they have like a lid on it or be in a cupboard or something, but that's fine. It's just what we do. All right, let's get some pet bowls. We got an auto feeder. I think I might put it, you know what? I'm gonna put it over here. The dog, the dog's gonna get like a prime location by this beautiful window. Two pet bowls for the two dogs, of course. Little bone and a fish, a little different, you know. And pet beds, I think we've got small dogs, right? Yeah, let's get a little, I'm gonna have one here. I'm gonna have one over here. Look, I would put them in the bedrooms, but I don't think we have room. So I'm gonna go out here in the living room. You know, the pets, they take precedence. And a little toy box as well, over here. Um, And then we need some sort of TV cabinet. So let's do maybe one of these. Wow, that was actually kind of expensive. TVs are also expensive. You know what? I'm going to get rid of the TV from this bedroom because that's a lot of money. Just buy one out here. Wow, that was like all our money. But that's kind of nice. I mean, there's nothing on the walls, which is a little sad. Uh, we also don't really have any lamps. I mean, I guess I could save some more money. There's a lot of expensive stuff 
we probably could swap out. Cause like, I want this place to be like nice. Like, I, like it should be, oh, these are so expensive. 325 bucks for like this stuff. Maybe if we just did some more bricks. What if we just did like, I mean, it really, do, I feel like it really does break it up a bit. Maybe make it a little bit asymmetrical. I don't know, it just does something with the wall. <laughs> it just helps us out a little bit. And then maybe a lamp. I should get one of, oh my gosh, that's like all the money. So I might get one over here because there's nothing going on over here. We also don't have any uh, curtains or anything in this room. I mean, it's a nice space though, isn't it? All, all the bedrooms are pretty nicely detailed. Nothing in the hallway, no, <laughs> no decorations or anything. But I think that's a win. Let's go ahead and go to live mode. Sophie, welcome to your new room. Come on down. Oh, I guess I, I did also spend money on computers. I guess I could have... Got rid of those, but whatever. All right, uh, I'm gonna sign left side of the bed to Sophie. Uh, Eleanor. Oh, I guess I gotta play test this too. I'm gonna sign the right side of the bed because that's where the dentures are. <laughs> and I probably don't need to assign this bed, but I will anyway. Someone's also died recently, so that's a little sad, but you know, these things happen. Okay, a couple of little tests. Can I go sit on that computer? And can you go sit on this computer? I mean, we're moving. Moving is a good sign. So you can get through there. You can sit down there. Fantastic. That dog has fleas. That dog needs to poo. Okay, I'm not here to like, oh, you don't even know the dog. <laughs> I'm not here to like play their family and rescue, you know, fix your lives. But like, what's going on here, guys? Let's go fill their food, please. And take that dog to go to the toilet, please. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's the apartment. I think that's good. So we've got all, you know, nice rooms. I think the layout is a lot, a lot better. Like we have way more space in here now. Um, I have no idea what the rent is now in this place. Actually, I guess we could check. Uh, oh wait, does it not? How do you figure out the rent? I don't know. Oh, actually I know. If we go show bills information maybe. Uh, rent, 500. Not bad, that's pretty good for everything. But yeah, I think I'll leave this here. They now have an adequate place to live. The dogs have all the stuff they need, albeit they have fleas. Uh, not my job though. I, you know, we did run out of, of money, you know, kind of near this end, but you know, we, we have a kitchen, we've got a bin, we've got a bathroom with a potty and a bathtub. Uh, we got all the beds and toys and everything we need. So I'd say that's a pretty good job done. <laughs> now, if you want to download this, the problem with apartments is you can't just share the whole apartment. So what I'm gonna do to share it is I'm gonna remove a wall between each room. So I'm gonna remove like that wall. I'm gonna remove this wall and I'm gonna remove, uh, I guess this wall. Just make sure you have move objects on when you put this in your game and also when you put the walls back, otherwise these items will disappear. So by removing all those walls, and I'm gonna remove that wall there too. This now is one room, so I can share it as a room and you can download this room and just place it over the top of everything. And then you just have to replace the walls. It's really annoying. I don't know why they never have built a way to share apartments. It's so annoying. So I say save room uh, and you can just download this whole room and just place it on top of the apartment. Replace the walls or don't replace the walls, but it should fit. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put the walls back for myself though, because otherwise it'll be a bit goofy. And we'll just have one final look at the apartment. We're just gonna go down into a more Sims perspective. You know, I actually think the living room is kind of nice. I actually kind of like this. I mean, the high chair's a little goofy, but you'd change that as soon as there's not a toddler. I mean, all things considered on a budget, because especially because I was running out of here, I actually quite like this living space, especially with all the windows. I think remove, because there used to be the bathroom here blocking half of this. I think opening this up to one space is so much nicer. Uh, on the other hand, the hallway is a little dismal. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Would have been, I was wanting to put in, you know, stuff down the side, like a side table, maybe even like a chess table or something. It, definitely stuff on the walls I would have wanted to do, but you know, wasn't in the budget. But each of the bedrooms, I think are quite nicely detailed. Here's Eleanor's room, grandma, if you will. Very nice, very nice. Then next up we've got Sophie's room, a little bit more zen, you know, darker in color. Got the koi on the wall there. Nice little workstation there as well. Then we have the kids room down here. Very fun, very colorful. Uh, <laughs> lots of toys and all that kind of stuff. And then we have the little bathroom at the end, which is the same size as the original, which I did criticize for being a bit big, but I think it was just cause it was kind of empty. This one, we obviously added in more stuff. So it's actually filled out a bit more. And I think it works quite well. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.